Well, after so many insults and threats, the crisis between the United States and North Korea may have taken a turn for the better. Both sides are still watching the other closely. Kimberly Gill is in the newsroom with what is happening and what's being said. Kim. Hi, Karen. Good afternoon. Some might say that North Korean dictator Kim Jong-un has blinked, but even as he seems to back away from a possible attack on Guam, he is keeping his anti-American rhetoric in high gear. The world is hoping to avoid any military action, much less a nuclear showdown. Now, it was a two-pronged message that came today from North Korea. On one hand, Kim, Kim Jong-un reportedly reviewed plans to launch four long-range missiles in the direction of Guam. On the other, Kim Jong-un has decided to wait before making a decision while he watches what he calls, quote, the foolish and stupid conduct of the Yankees. Kim Jong-un may be waiting for a planned military exercise involving the U.S. and South Korean forces later this month to decide if he will respond. Meanwhile, in Beijing today, the chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff met with Chinese military leaders there. Marine General Joseph Danforth and his Chinese counterparts are discussing the latest developments in North Korea and the need to maintain effective communications. In Guam, the Homeland Security spokesperson says there has been no change in the threat level, but civilian leaders are encouraged by the latest news from North Korea. Happy that um, he has uh, taken a uh, look at their plans, as he said, and uh, will be um, uh, holding off on at least it appears to be imminent uh, threats uh, to Guam at this point. Um, there doesn't appear to be any uh, indication that, the, based on what we're hearing, uh, that there will be any missiles attacking uh, in the near future or in the distant future. Now, back in Washington today, Secretary of State Rex Tillerson had a muted response to the latest from North Korea. Tillerson said the U.S. is still looking for a way to begin a dialogue with Kim Jong-un, but it's really up to him. So, Karen, we're monitoring all the latest developments for you. Uh, we'll have them as they develop right here on Local 4 and on ClickOnDetroit.com. For now, we'll send it back to you. All right. Thank you very much, Ken.